one. If you don't, I'm making Oreo balls. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little week in my life. My best friend is moving in on Thursday and I'm just kind of getting ready for that, living life a little bit. I'm gonna start off today on Monday, March 7th. Sorry, there's a lot of background noise. I've done like eight loads of laundry today. My house has never been so clean, let's just say that. Anyway, so there's laundry going, so just ignore that. I'm making Oreo balls because, well, let me get started while I cough. How do I do this again? Oh, I need to crush the Oreos. So since January, about three months now, I've been a part of a women's Bible study group at my church. This is the last day we're meeting. I'm so sad. We've been reading this book called The Jordan River Rules, 10 God-Given Strategies for Moving Forward. And we're doing like a food night. So we're making burgers and all this stuff. I'm in charge of bringing a dessert. So I decided to make Oreo balls. Actually, I'm gonna leave out like four and I'll eat them later. All right, let's smash some Oreos. Seal the bag, smash. You literally just crush the Oreos, then you add cream cheese, freeze them, and then you put melting chocolate. So I have white chocolate, and then I have some dark chocolate too. And add cream cheese. Okay, we're just gonna try to squeeze it out. I forgot I'm supposed to take this out of the fridge like 30 minutes before I make them, so then it's like easier to work with. Oh, it's like oozing out the back. It smells so gross. Then we literally just mush it all together. I probably should have taken off all my rings, but we're already here. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands so I can like get a pan. I put all my towels in the wash. I think I have some extras. Okay, I made sure this is gonna fit in my freezer and it does. So I'm just gonna line it with some parchment paper. Then you make balls of Oreo. I have a couple things where I'm like, I don't know how this happened. One, it's like white chocolate, right? It's brown. So I think I burnt it and it's like a weird texture. Two, I somehow got it all over my sweater. Now I have to wash this. Another load of laundry, perfect, just what I needed. And I spilt it everywhere and this looks disgusting. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl cause I don't even know if I wanna use this and just use the dark chocolate. This kind of chocolate is the best ever. Like I already know I'm gonna have no issues with it. It's always best. Absolutely disgusting. Like, let me show you. Please, how did this even happen? Someone tell me, this is supposed to be white chocolate. I never wanna eat chocolate again because why? Anyway, on to better things, much better. So we're just gonna kind of drizzle it, not like fully coat it, I guess. I'm just gonna do what I can, you know? Okay, I gotta go. Here are the results. They look pretty good. Hopefully they taste good. I'm doing my Bible study this morning, and yes, the Oreo balls were an absolute hit. I wanna watch the Love is Blind reunion episode because I like started it, I haven't finished it yet. Um, and then I'm also gonna do a little bit of working out while the show is playing. I'm actually going to the gym with one of my friends, but I'm waiting for him to get off work. I feel like my house is somehow a mess again. Why does cleaning have to be something you just have to be consistently doing? But my towels are all clean, so I can put them away. I made coffee this morning, but I am low-key thinking that I just want to drink my last of these energy drinks since I'm going to do two workouts today. These have been really good. I really like them. There is literally 200 milligrams of caffeine. These things get me going for the whole day. If you struggle with procrastination, <laughs> fill yourself with the drug of caffeine and things will get done. <laughs> so I only have like, oh goodness, I only have like 15 minutes left of the last episode. So I'm just going to do like a 15 minute full body hit workout on my phone. So I'm really trying to lose weight. I have been working out for like two and a half weeks or so. And I think I wanna start doing like two 30 minute workouts a day. Okay, so you guys know when I did 75 hard and I quit, let me get better lighting. So I think I'm going to write out a new uh, way of working out, basically 75 hard, except I wanna do 90 day, but not make it so aggressive. 90 day, not super hard, but not easy at all. <laughs> Whatever you wanna call it. And these are gonna be my rules for every day. But we are gonna say, drink i want like a maybe i should just say half a gallon and i can drink my half gallon thing i'm gonna say do two 30 minute workouts a day portion my food slash count calories and then read my bible every day that is a big requirement so mine only has four things but that is my goals for the next 90 days so i wrote it down march april may 
and then all the days. Let's go. First, I have to break out the infamous water bottle. Oh, it's like all the way in the back. Here we go. Gotta fill up the Brita. Comment down below if you also are somehow just incapable of drinking water and you have to do this to drink water. Start my workout. So I've last minute decided that since I'm gonna have a roommate now, even though she's my best friend, it's always good to have personal space. So I'm moving my whole setup upstairs. If you know, I just moved it, so wish me luck. Oh, and I decided I'm gonna rearrange my entire room upstairs, so we just have a lot going on. So much I don't even know what time it's 10 o'clock I woke up at about 7 45 this morning I went to the gym the dishes I did some cleaning some reorganizing brought a bunch of stuff up here kind of finished setting up up here and cleaned the dog out all of that and it's only 10 o'clock so I'm doing really well I'm excited because I get to mark off day eight check and now I'm on day nine this morning when I grabbed my Apple watch to go to my workout it broke so I've had this band for like two years time to get a new one I guess um, and I couldn't find any of my other bands so I found a way to kind of click them back together and make it work for like the one workout but not indefinitely so I finally found took me about eight years but I found all my extra bands so I have like the one that I bought with the apple watch and then i have one that's like a normal watch i'm gonna stick with the sports band i have to figure out how to get this out okay got that side i feel like this is gonna be hard to get out since it's like broken did i do this right why is it why do i feel like it looks weird is that normal anyway apple watch secured um let me show you the new setup okay first off i'm so happy that i moved up into my room because this definitely has the best lighting in the whole apartment and it just makes me so happy so first off i just hung this up so now i can hang this i usually will put my bible and stuff in here when i go to all my bible studies or to church because it's just easier so now i have it easy access right by where i'm gonna keep my bible i moved my little piano set up here and this is kind of the room setup so i've got my bed nightstands mirror and my desk. It's a bit of a mess, but it's fine. So this will be like the editing section slash when I'm like just chilling. So like I got my Bible, my journal, and then I've got all of my stuff to play games. If I ever get back to streaming, I've got all that over there. My PC, got this cart. I have these lights I need to like put somewhere. And then this is where I keep like all my electronics. My chair, obviously, I've got a bunch of like random crap in those drawers, so that was much needed, honestly. Um, there's my coffee for the morning. I'm gonna hang that mirror, I don't know where yet. Then I've got my full body mirror right here. I did have it over there, I like this better. This was where I originally had it too. And then here's my beautifully made bed. I love her. Um, this is the nightstand I use mostly, but I have two and I have some extra chargers and stuff because I have so much crap and now that I have a roommate, I need more drawers. So that just gives me yet another place to put my crap. <laughs> and then I have my dresser. I actually have another Xbox up here. So sometimes I'll lay in bed and play just like dumb games. This is one of my friend's Xbox. It's kind of a long story. Anyway, I have it for now. Um, so I set up my TV. I was going to put my dresser on this wall and the desk on this wall, but I was like, wait, this is is kind of op having it on this wall and then i can just angle my tv and then i can literally watch tv like this and then i can fall asleep which i do not fall asleep to tv i can turn it off and then put the remote right there but and then i just fix it to where it's at like an angle so it's easier to see because last night i slept with it straight couldn't see a single thing when i was watching tv moved my piano up here i think i already said that anyway yay it's just so bright and such good lighting in here it makes me so happy i also i, I don't know how i didn't know i had this I have another Google mini thing. It was in one of my drawers and I found it when I was moving. I was like, oh, perfect. So now I have one in the kitchen and one in my room and there's weird stuff going on outside. So see you guys next time I do something. It's officially the day that Charlie's gonna move in and I get to mark off yesterday's number nine. So now it's April 10th. 
I woke up at around 8.30, made my bed, kind of cleaned up my room. I was gonna go to the gym, but I'm very sore. So I'm kind of doing rest day. I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to the gym late or not, but I decided not to go. So I made coffee and then I took Harlan on a walk. So I did like a 15 minute walk. My real workout today has been everything I've done because I cleaned out Charlie's room. I reorganized my closet under the stairs, which was a mess. And then I reorganized my closet in here, which was also a mess. Then I did like a bunch of loads of laundry. Anyway, my morning has been packed and Charlie is probably about 30 minutes away. So I'm super excited to help her move in. That's like the whole thing of this video. I just checked her location and she's literally like on my street. So she just has to get to the apartment. Also, quick story time. I thought I lost Charlie's dog, Harlan, and I was looking everywhere, everywhere, everywhere for him. And look where he is. Right here, with a little butt hanging out. And that's why I couldn't find him, because look at that. Should I just sit here on the stairs waiting for her? Because my front door is right here. She said she was pulling into the apartment, so. <gasps> now I wait. Or I'll set up the camera here, and you guys can watch us greet each other. Mother-son reunion, oh, how cute. I love You didn't own that much stuff. Solid. Yeah. Ooh, everything's actually <laughs> getting moved in. Oh, hey. How you doing? <laughs> Come on in. This is my humble abode. Ooh. We have my bed. We okay. have the stuff we're gonna ignore. We have our makeup and hair area right by the window, and that's Harlan. <laughs> He's annoying. Um, this is my drawers that Sydney so gratefully is lending me. Here's my hero. <laughs> That's why she's living with me. Oh, okay. Whoa, start. Scratch that. Scratch okay, so phone got deployed six months ago in October. Spent most of it with my family. Now I'm here with Sarah. We're going to have a good summer. And we're going to spend the rest of the time until he comes back here. Awesome. So that's my nice little desk where he's at chilling over there. <laughs> Ooh. She clean, so, she cute. This is my restroom, and I'm gonna get Ooh, some other stuff. Oh, I like the stuff. bag hanging yeah. right there. I'm gonna get some other stuff to kind of like make it a little bit more me, make it a little bit more, you know, cozy. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, just your normal restroom. My soaps are in there now, so that's good. Okay. And then we have my closet. Oh, so now my closet is being fully utilized. Well, yeah. I guess it's yours now, so. So, I just need to get some more hangers. You need a shoe shelf. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then I'm gonna separate it into seasonal stuff with the other two racks, and I have some storage bins up there that have stuff that I never use. And then blankets. So, Period. Yay! We're all moved in, and I'm so excited. And yay! Like, oh, I do want to get shelves here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So all these little knickknacks will probably go up eventually. Yeah. And like shelves right here, and then hopefully we can find a way to put this desk actually against the. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, look at this. But then like the leg, so you can't. Anyway, comment down below if you're so excited for some Sid and Charlie content. Yay! That's gonna be the end of the- Wait, should I bring them shopping? I mean, you can. All right, you never mind. You can come one. with us. All right, we're gonna go to Target and then to Walmart and just pick up some things for Charlie's room. Whee! All right, we're getting some hangers. I got some more energy drinks, some dog stuff, some snacks. Oh, yeah. So we spent the weekend hanging out with our friends and settling in, went to Buffalo Wild Wings, played Catan, and had some fun. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. She's officially moved in. It's been a couple days of her moved in now because it's Saturday. Last night we went and celebrated with our friends and went to Buffalo Wild Wings and we went to the gym for the first time together today. And so we were getting in that routine and we got groceries and how's being my roommate so far? 
Uh, 10 out of 10 for sure. You're like, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really great. I'm excited. Okay, gaming. We'll see you I'm guys. A little sick. A little cold. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.